I would just like to say that I had a lot of whiskey yesterday. Stay tuned. Welcome to Kilka Whiskey Musings. My name is Brian. And what a weekend it has been. For some of you, you may have been there. For most of you, you were not, and sad for you. But I will go over, as best I can, the things that happened over the past 48, 24 hours-ish. Uh-oh. Okay. That helps. Possibly I met someone named Ben yesterday. Mike Franklin, hello. Bourbon, hello. This is Heller. Hi. <clears throat> We're all here on Sunday. The week is beginning anew. That means you should probably have a drink. I know that's how I feel. And uh, I actually drank quite a bit of whiskey yesterday. Not in excess, thankfully, but I haven't had that many samples given to me in... I don't know how long, probably since I was at the store last. So to, to clarify, I was at Irene Tan's store in Connecticut, Canterbury, Connecticut, yesterday. I met up with some individuals who may or may not be in chat right now. Secrets. They know who they are. And there was a lot of whiskey, not only drank, but also donated and shared. And it was lovely. And I hope to do more of those at some point. Uh, you know, things are... I don't want to say getting back to normal. That doesn't feel right. Nothing is normal in my head. So let's just say we are able to socialize in person once again with caution. So hopefully I will do, I don't want to say meet and greets, but I don't feel like I'm there yet. Uh, meetups. I like the sound of that. Meetups sounds good. At uh, In Connecticut, in the New England area, for those of you who can be here. Okay. Are they sideways? Because those are the ones I was thinking were yours. There are so many damn samples. I did get a lot of samples yesterday. I should say that first. I'm trying to pick apart which is which and who is from who. Because I did that thing where I just take them all out and put them all down. And then suddenly they're all mixed together. And I'm going, well, <laughs> who gave me what? And the only thing I have is the way the labels look. It should be clarified, but okay. I thought so. Yeah, some of the ones on there were scotch. And I was like, wait, okay, that's probably him. Some of them were. There are other ones that are scotch that are, uh, well, literally has tape on them and handwriting, which I assume are yours. And those are most of the scotch ones, I think. I think. But yes, we have a couple of people in chat today. Jim Morris and Bourbon, I got to meet yesterday. We had lots of whiskey. They are aware. They will tell you. If you ever ask, that it is a lovely time. Yes. Yes, there's a lot of, there are a lot of them. I'll figure it out later. But I'm just trying to pick apart which is which at the moment. And we have, I picked out two, but I wanted to pick out three. But I couldn't quite figure out what is what. Anyway, before I get distracted, which I do very easily. I wanted to go over what else I got. Not only did I get around 30 samples from these crazy magnificent bastards, we'll say, but I also was the given bottles. Many bottles, which felt real weird. Jim Morris will tell you yesterday was amazing. It really was. It was a glorious time. I, I have talked about Irene Tan's store before. There's a video for it, which I've mentioned a few times. I think I linked a video at one point. But if you just type in Whiskey Tribe Liquor Store, that should pull it up. But that is the video that I am in for about, you know, three seconds for the whole thing. But I was there. It was a lovely time. It's when I first met uh, Rex and Daniel, Daniel and Rex, and had whiskey with Irene, lots of whiskey. And she opened her store. And it's a glorious place. And I don't even know how many whiskeys we had yesterday. I took pictures of most of them. And posted them on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, we'll do that to see them because I can't show them here because I didn't upload them. Because there were a lot of them. There were at least 15 different whiskeys that I had yesterday. 
at least. At some point, I just stopped taking pictures. Of them. I am going to do those later at some point where it's a, like a New England meetup thing. I say New England, but it's I'm technically talking about Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Connecticut because those, those are all within driving distance. But New York, because, you know, some people I might know of actually drove a long distance to get there. Granted, you didn't regret it, I'm sure. But I feel bad having people come, like, drive up from that distance. I feel like I'm glad you did. I would not <laughs> because I, I have problems just driving an hour away and back. That's rough. But I'm glad you all came. It was lovely. And the food was good. That was the kind of, it's kind of like the crux of the thing. The, the whiskey was really good. We had amazing whiskey. You guys bought, I don't really want to know how much whiskey, plenty. Uh, and I got a number of bottles, as I mentioned earlier. So that was bonkers. But I did, I am a fan of the fact that there is a restaurant right next door to that place where after you've imbibed all the samples you can tolerate, you just sit down less than 20 feet away and have some food. Good food. Nothing crazy, but good. It'll do the trick, to say the least. And the fries are actually pretty good there at this place, which I've talked about. Let's get into the bottles, shall we? This feels weird. Yes, it was. And I'm sure part of it was just we had had so much whiskey and food was a necessity. As was the water. Everything was a necessity after that. But I will be showing off. I feel like I'm bra bragging. I don't, know, I don't know the feeling I'm having now. It's not pleasant. But... It's the thing that's most prevalent in my mind because of yesterday. Uh, it's part of the way I feel because I did a lot of socializing and every time I go out and do stuff and be around people, there's a cost the next day and probably that night. I slept probably nine hours. Yeah, it was worth it. Let's show you what was acquired yesterday. As you can see here, Mr. Buddha is, talk is sitting on an open 14. Which initially was supposed to be the, the, the whiskey fund, bottle fund. Uh, I guess I'm, I don't need to do... I mean, I still need funds for the mustache, what, much, mustache wax. Wow. It's like I've been drinking all day. I haven't, I swear. I don't think I have. I'll do the things. Wait, wait, wait. I know how to do this, I promise. There we go. Donations for uh, mustache wax are always appreciated. As far as buying whiskey, though, I don't know if I need to do that for a while. I don't want to think of it as bragging. It's more an update, you know, letting people know this is what I suddenly have in my hands, and I have to review them eventually. Review them, uh, taste them at some point. So the Open 14, birthday gift I was gonna, I was going to try to get funds for from all the generous contributors here, and suddenly someone just gave it to me. Uh, it's my secret friend. He's a whiskey... There's been a number of words that have been used. I think the most, he called himself a whiskey angel. I called him a whiskey pixie, but I think someone else called him a whiskey fairy. But he is he is the one who gave me a whole bunch of bottles just suddenly, among other things. There are also a bunch of samples in here that are from him. I just don't remember which ones they are because I'm a terrible person. But Oven 14, donated, boom, done. Green spot. I bought that. That was for me. because that That's my birthday gift to myself because it's something I wanted. There was the fancy one at the store, but that was way outside of my price range. So, oh, no. At the very least, green spot. I'm so happy to have that again. And then the Whiskey Pixie Fairy Angel donated these other four uh, bottles to me because he had seen the stream I did on Friday, or at least heard about it. And... So he was like, oh, you don't have the other four from the Game of Thrones collection. Here you go. <laughs> so we have Talisker, Claimlish, Royal Lachnagar. I don't know how to say that. And Cardu. I'm not sure if I've had any of these. I feel like I've tasted Talisker, but the rest of them I have no idea. So, you know, that was a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. And the other ones I had to put down somewhere. Where are they? Oh, yes. Something called Ancient Age 10, donated by a certain Burben. Or Ben. I gave you a shit. And this one, where'd it go? This one. It was donated by Barb Battalion, I think. Bobby. I've never heard of this, but glad to try it. 
I believe it's from Ohio. Ohio. Looking forward to trying that as well. And thank you, Ben, for transporting that to my winning hands. And again, there are 30 samples, at least, that I got yesterday, which are now in front of me. And I'm trying to figure out which ones to pour, which... That's that's the first world problem if I've ever had one. It's just I have so many samples of whiskey. What should I pour first? Oh, such a dilemma. Feels a little weird. Nice. You let me know, man. I mean, I'm not gonna make you open anything. That's the thing. I, I don't want to do that to people. But when you open it, and if you'd like to send a sample, please do. It's all about what you want. Uh, that goes for everything here. I want people to want to be here. That's all I ask. Uh, that's probably the problem with why I don't have a thousand subscribers yet because I have to also lure people in and get them subscribed. By the way, if you haven't, I assume most of you have. It's a thing. YouTube overlords demand your thumbs. The Magnolia? Or the Ancient Age? This whiskey is meant to be shared, I think. That is the theme, or one of the themes on the whiskey tube world. I know I have enjoyed many different whiskeys from many different places that I would never have tried before. Thanks to the whiskey community, and it's pretty epic. It's one of those things I'm glad I kind of, kind of, I really did. I just fell into it by accident, as I've mentioned before. Mr. Mr. Whiskey Shits, hello. How are you, sir? Tell me what you're drinking, by the way. If you have anything in your glass, I don't care what it is. Okay, is it? Okay, cool. That's funny. The way their their website is phrasing things, it's like, oh, this is our old recipe from ages ago. But I think it's well, I'm not gonna say much about it. I don't know anything about it. It's just funny that they're talking about this prohibition thing and this Ohio whiskey and then it's MGP. <laughs> JJ, hello, welcome, pleasure to have you as always. I had a drink earlier and also realized I haven't eaten since breakfast, so apologies in advance. I'm trying to decide what to start with, which is a tricky thing to do. You know what? I was trying to figure out a few of these because they were distinctly different. And I think these were by the Whiskey Pixie slash Fairy slash Angel, whatever he wants to call himself. Oh, my gosh, 1920. Oh, I like that stuff, I think. Old Carter? Is that what you meant? I think you did. That's what I interpreted as. Yes, these ones with the the tape. I assume they were from Jim, but because some of them are Scotch, and then I'm realizing that uh, Cliff, uh, who will remain remain nameless. Shit. So the whiskey fairy pixie angel also has a whole bunch of stuff. He's the one who donated those four bottles and the Oban fourteen because he's a bad man, and his generosity just. I don't know how to take that, man. I really don't. Speak of the devil. We're still trying to figure out if you're a whiskey angel, whiskey pixie, or whiskey... What, what was the other one? Fairy. You pick, man. It's what people call you, so I'd, I'd imagine you have some say in it. But yes, I was correct. Thank you, Cliff. And again, thank you especially for all the donations. You're, you're a generous human being, and that is certainly an understatement. Because that was that was not a thought in my mind that I actually have the whole collection of Game of Thrones things, and then it's like, hi, thunk, enjoy. <laughs> and it was lovely to hang out with you yesterday. That was really fun. I hope we all get to do that again. As I said to Irene, and I'll say to you via digital, uh, we are hoping to, well, not we, but I am hoping to get more whiskey tubers and more whiskey folk involved in going there and having a lovely time because that is that's an experience and the amount of whiskey that is in that room it's worth just going there just to be surrounded by that much whiskey if you can't get to the whiskey vault you know that's that's a pretty good bet as well buffalo trace i like buffalo trace so that's a good thing well how do i mm, it seems i enjoy buffalo trace products which i feel a little bad about because some people really hate it but i know what is it? E.H. Taylor. It's delicious. I need to get another bottle of that and a couple other things. Right? It was fun. It was a fun time. James Morgan. Hello. Welcome. 
Welcome, welcome. Whoa, wow. Yeah, those crazy, those crazy sense guns were we got to hang out in real life. It was weird. I mean it's fun, but it's also weird because going out and being places is always weird to me. Okay, now I seem to have things organized a little bit. I need to put those aside. I was wondering how I got a bunch of scotches and Texas stuff, and I realized, wait a minute, you also gave me samples because your generosity again, Cliff, is incredible. So I don't know how to deal with it. And these are make sure I, I separate these two specifically. Nope, that's not it. The cinnamon toast and the sweet hot cocoa are the combo, right? I feel like they are. I remember we tried that and it was pretty epic. So I could always mix those two together again. <laughs> All right. And I believe these are from Anthony, I think. Again, I, I've, there's one thing I haven't quite learned about being a whiskey tube person. It's when you get samples, label who gave them to you. Very important. And then don't mix them all together as soon as you get them. Don't be like, oh, I'll put them all here before you label them. Because that's, that's kind of important that you know who gave it to you. And I feel like a total ass because I realize how many samples I've been getting over the past year. And just kind of go like completely. I've lost any idea who sent them to me. Sometimes I remember, but holy shit. Uh oh oh god it's gonna be so much fun i can't wait to have you guys I, I well i don't need you guys to to brag about that because i know you will like going there and getting all that whiskey i feel like that eventually hopefully maybe oh my brain is doing that thing again where it's all negative but the idea is to not draw people into this area i mean new england isn't really a super hot bed of whiskey at the moment, but just knowing Irene Tan's store is there and that I would love to have other whiskey to people of varying sorts, like people who make content, people who don't make content, you know, do little meetups there, little meetups. I'm talking like five to 10 people at most because that, although that is a nice space for whiskey, we can only hold so many people. And after a certain amount of time, it gets, even with a few of us there, even with what is it, five total? Hold on, I can't count. Yes, five. Even with five of us there, at most 10 in that room. And even then it would be kind of complicated. And I don't want to put pressure on Irene for anything. You know, it's her store, it's her thing, but it's a great spot to just meet up and do stuff, really. David Geshki. I hope I say that right. If I don't, tell me. Hello. I mean, it's an option. You did have chowder. So I don't know how good the chowder is there, but hopefully it was pretty good. I'm not really impressed by lobster, though. Lobster is a weird thing to me. It's just, I don't understand it. Maybe I haven't had the best lobster yet, but oh well. I just know it's something that's kind of squishy and fishish, and uh, people put a lot of butter on it, so there's that. I have many different types. Here's the thing. I, ra I was raised in Rhode Island. I at least still live there, clearly, but I've never been a huge seafood fan. I think I like fried shrimp. Don't eat much fish. Probably should. Uh, I don't eat oysters or I do have clam chowder. I should say that, but there are certain ways I eat seafood. I don't go straight for the, you know, pull it out of the water and put it on a grilled thing yet. Doug H. Hello. Cheers to you, sir. I need to pour something. It's already been 15. It's been 18 minutes. How the hell did that happen? And I am deciding I'm trying to get a bottle from everyone who actually donated yesterday apart from cliff only because he donated so much and also he's got like scotches and texas whiskey in here mostly i think it's this one yeah it's texas whiskey and a few scotches i believe correct me if i'm wrong cliff but what i'm going you know the shirt says it all it's bourbon night they're coming on next so i'm trying to stick towards bourbon to rise ish stuff and right now i'm just pulling out what i think is those i could be wrong one of these could be scotch but that seems highly unlikely considering the people I was talking to yesterday who were very keen on bourbons. And let me know what you think about the, the samples I gave you because I'm just curious. And also, both of you link up and you don't have to try the samples together, but if you do, that'd be cool because you can talk about it. Ouch. Cooper's Craft. What on no? <sighs> white. It was white. I'm a fan of the white clam chowder myself. Just habitually, like living in New England, living in Rhode Island, whenever I go out, 
it's almost standard the white clam chowder. Very rarely have I ever seen red clam chowder anywhere. But I think that's just how it is around here. I'm not sure how it is in other places, to be honest. I'm also trying to make sure I'm getting the proofs here, right? Because the first one I have pulled out, something called Old Mr. Boston, 1976. I'm not sure. That's the really old one, isn't it? Because if it is, I should not drink that one yet. Let me know, Bourbon, if this is actually the one I think it is, because that one needs to go aside so I do not accidentally just pour it and actually take the time to appreciate it. Oh, to each his own, then. I've never really had it. Okay, that's the dusty. I should put that one aside then. I thought so. I thought I saw the date. I'm like, why is there a date on it? Maybe it's like 1780. Oh, what was it? Wow, I can't think. 1980. No. 1786. It's a bourbon we were looking at yesterday. It's one I kind of like, but I can't remember. So this one needs to go somewhere. Put it over here. I do not want to accidentally drink the dusty first. That would be a mistake. That, that whiskey in that bottle is older than I am. So, yeesh. I haven't watched Ace Ventura in so long. But we do have both up here. So, it's a legitimate question. All right. There's that. We have Barrel. And I have to figure out which one. Mm -hmm. I've never had this kind of problem in my life. And it's a glorious problem to have. Oop, that's high. I also have to be careful because a lot of these are really high up there. Thank you for stopping in, Cliff. It was a pleasure to see you. Friend's daughter's birthday. Oh, real life problems. I will see you again soon, hopefully. It's, it's so It was so nice to see you again because it's been, you know, well, almost a year. I know I saw you at a special event not long ago. But, you know, events weren't really a big thing last year, believe it or not. Who knows why? Oops. Sorry for all the clinking and clanking, but I'm trying to figure things out here. It's complicated. And I'm grabbing the wrong ones. I almost had this under control before I started. But then I realized the first one I grabbed was very old. <laughs> Older than me. So I have to reanalyze. And thankfully, these guys also gave me a whole bunch of high-proof stuff. The one I have pulled out right now is 46%. And it seems like everything I touch is higher than that right now. All right, 117. I'm just going to grab the lowest one from each. Hopefully that'll make sense. 119, I think that is. This is such a wonderful problem to have. 105, 112. All right, there we go. Good, good. It also doesn't help that some of these are... <laughs> Some of these are percentages and some of these are proofs. And my brain is just like, cut it in half. Ow, why Why do you make me do this? So this one's 52.5-ish. This one's 46, which is 90-something. Yeah, 45 is 90 plus 2, 92. I can do math in my head if I really want, which I usually don't. And for those who just arrived, tell me what you're drinking. Drinking? Drinking. And have any, if you have any questions about the event, if you want to call it an event, meeting, gathering, meetup. That's the word I used. Meetup. It was a fun meetup. John T., hello. And I do hope to get more people to do that kind of thing if they want. I don't want to say I'm advertising to every single person because that would be, as I said, the, the place is a nice place to go, but it's also... Here's the thing. Thinking about, thinking about 10 people in that room makes me not comfortable. Eight or seven is the max I can see. Even with five of us, we had to kind of meander about a bit. And uh, Irene had to walk around and give us all stuff. I mean, it's an option. Really need to get to 1,000. But yeah, I'm very close to 400. I've been close to 400 for a while. I don't know why. And I still haven't made the uh, clickbaity content, so I should work on that at some point. But as I am posting just one video a week on what I open, that's the other problem. Because right now, in my mind, the idea should be Monday, Wednesday, Friday for video content. 
but also I've been doing streams on Sunday, occasional Wednesdays, and Fridays. So I'm inadvertently giving myself a lot to do, and my brain and body are like, what are you doing? You're, you're doing a lot of stuff right now. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm going to take away every little bit of energy you have and make you sleep. Enjoy. And you're not going to go anywhere also. Got to remember that. Ugh. Like yesterday, I can still feel it. As weird as that sounds. Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, good. Yeah, that was the one thing I was worried about with my uh, samples. I know the one, the people who I did give samples to, they probably were cursing my name a little bit when they opened it. It's like, wow, this is, uh, that's a lot of bubble wrap. But in my head, they were going to different places and who knows what could have happened. Hello. Dr. Vincent 69. Oh, hello. Welcome to our Twitch people. It's always nice to see new names. And uh, especially people on Twitch, because I'm super popular there, sitting here doing a talk show about whiskey. Officially. Officially, it's a talk show about whiskey. Ish. Ah, I keep grabbing this one. Sorry for the cling clangs again. I'm trying to debate with myself what to have here. <laughs> I'm pulling ones out that are like 68%, and my brain is just like, that's not a good idea. I agree. Oh, wait a minute. Whether antique? 107. Antique 107. I have a Weller back there, but I don't think it's antique. Crap, what is it? Light whiskey. That's that's a high hazmat. Hazmat. You guys were talking about hazmat yesterday. And it made me nervous. Alright, alright. I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, okay. <laughs> I have so much whiskey to drink tonight, and it's going to be a problem. It's only been a half an hour, and I haven't poured a damn thing. No, no worries. I am a professional. All right, this one, this one, and this one. I may not drink all of these tonight, because that might be stupid. All right, this. And I hope this is from each of you, because that was a whole plan. Just to get one from each of the persons who uh, donated to the stream slash channel. If you're interested in doing that, you can always contact me from your Instagram through my email, which is probably the easiest way to do it down below. Well, actually, Instagram is the easiest, but email is a little more, I can keep track of it. And the link to that is in the description. It's actually not down below, but uh, in the About tab of this channel, you can find the email to send any questions, comments, whatever to all right. First, we're going to start with call something something called Yippie Kaye High West. I am assuming this is a high rye. Ah, that happens. That does happen. Now, I've had High West products before. I have their double rye right here, actually. And I've had the Boo Rye as a sample, I think. Uh, that possibly was at Irene's store, honestly. I think she gave me another one. It could have been this. It might have been this, actually. We'll see. I, I certainly won't remember, but I seem to remember her. She gave me so much stuff, like, over a year ago in 2019. After I got introduced to that store, I'd go there, and she'd just pour and pour and pour, and it was amazing. Oop. Just a bit. Got a lot to go through here, and I haven't eaten since noon, and it's 6.30, so yeah. Gotta be careful. Here we go. Cheers to all of you. I hope to meet you all in person someday. Probably won't happen, but you know, wishful thinking. There, there's the positive aspect of going out and having whiskey with people once more. It's nice. I kind of missed it. Sort of. There's, there's still part of me that's always... There's a cost, as the is the best way I can put it. That no matter if I do social stuff, the next day there'll be a price to pay. Kind of like kind of like a hangover, but you know, no new no actual alcohol causing the problem. Uh, it's all just because of my mental fun stuff. Which, if you want to know more, just ask. I, I'm totally open to talking about my mental health problems, but oftentimes people get a little weird about it, especially when alcohol is involved. But that's okay. That's okay. Ooh. Ooh, this must be high rye. 
Another bit of good news, for those of you who are longtime viewers, you may recall I used to use an app slash website called Wizzki, W-H-I-Z-Z-K-Y, and I wasn't able to use it for a while because the site itself was freaking out my web browser. Something was up about the connection, and I have checked ever since, and what do you know? I can actually connect to it just fine now without any weirdness. Bourbon, I poured uh, the High West Yippie Kaye, 46%. I'm starting with the lowest proof slash percentage I got here. I'm going to work my way up the ladder over the next hour and a half. It might. The funny thing is, for those who met me, they, they probably didn't know that anything was seriously wrong with me the whole time, but a little bit. Again, I'm not great at socializing, but I'm also very good at making it seem like I'm not uncomfortable while socializing. The alcohol does help, by the way. So did the food. I was hungry. That was nice. This is nice. This does have a distinctive rye note to it, so I'm guessing it's... Knowing it's high west, I assume there's a certain amount of rye in it, but how, how much? I don't know. So I'm actually going to check. Because that's what I like to do. I will see if I can find this. And I, I'm using the whiskey app, which it feels so good to use it again. I was so bummed out when I had been doing so much content early on, like uh, 2019, 2020, using the app and saying it's pretty good. And then having the whole website just shit itself because of some connection bullshit. Uh, so I'm happy I'm able to connect to it again without issue because... It's, it's nice. It's convenient. It gives lots of options. Like people, people leave their opinions about the whiskey. So it gives me kind of a general idea or at least something new. That's the important thing. A lot of opinions, uh, even if I don't agree with all of them. And even if some of them are pr pretty much, uh, let's just say negative. Where am I? Hold on. High West. I was going to say brewery. Uh, that's not what it is. Ah. Nope, that's not a Y. There we go. Song just popped in my head. I'm sorry. And it went it goes like this. That is the noise in my head every day. Hey. Oh hell I did. I mean there's no way I mean well there is a way I couldn't have, but I did have a good time. It was lovely, and it also was encouraging. That part of me was, I don't want to say nervous, but it's the word I want to use here. I was worried that no one would enjoy the experience, uh, but Irene, as always, just knocked it out of the park with her, her generosity and her willingness to engage with the people who were there, which is what literally just kind of made it click that hey i really want to get other people up here so we can all just enjoy this experience and it gives me a good excuse to do it over and over again that's the important part for me anyway sort of i mean a little bit disc oh, it doesn't tell me oh there's a problem i already run into a problem high waist yippee kaye it is a rye okay but it has batches I don't know what batch it is. Oh, you know what? I just realized what I didn't do. Shit. Let's see if I can fix that. Oh, thank you. Ooh. Wine in vermouth. It is discontinued. Okay, it said disc on it. And I assume that meant discontinued. Yeah, that's the one thing. If I type in High West, Yippie Kaye, it just goes, batch number this. I was like, oh, crap. Which one is it? There are 12. I assume it's one of the earlier ones, since it's discontinued, as you said. And that does make it interesting. As far as a bottle, I'm glad I could tell it was a rye. That's you know bonus points to my brain there, or my nose, or both. It's whatever. One nine zero two seven. That's a that's a crazy number. Twenty nineteen. All right. Now, hold on. I'm trying to make sense of my life at the moment. There we go. Uh, the unfortunate thing about using 
stream lab stream that stream that the thing i'm using to broadcast right now is that it doesn't do the you know if you at me which sounds weird but if you do the at kilco whiskey musings that should bring the comment to my attention but because of the setup i have with the how i'm streaming it doesn't actually do it unless i drag the youtube chat onto the screen and then i see it so i try not to miss that but it is certainly much easier with the live chat as we are going on so 2019 a eh? see what this tells me about 2019 oops wrong one there we go so we have boop 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 uh, it's hannah hart actually if you're wondering 19027 let's see if it says on here 19027 because a lot of these say batch number and not you know, full batch number. It says batch one. 19C27? Because there's a 19C29 here. And an 18C28. It's the problem with this. <laughs> We're running into problems with the app because it's plenty of options, but also they're all labeled slightly differently. Either way, I need to have a drink. Cheers to all of you. And cheers to a event, a successful event. And a successful amount of whiskey that was given to me because that was crazy in a good way. Oh, whoa, hi. Well, that was an experience. It doesn't taste initially like a rye. 19C27. Let's see if we add that on here. Does it just give you a batch number? Like one, two, three, ten. Because with these, it's being weird. There are a bunch on here, like I said. We have batch number one, three, ten, four. And then we have other ones that just say limited showing and 18C22 or 18C29, which I'm getting, guessing is 2018-ish. Cheers to Yosa, James Morgan. I feel like I've already had a bunch of drinks today, and really it's just because I had one, and also I haven't eaten. So yay. I do have food. I have an old thing of mac and cheese waiting for me after this ends. So don't worry. I'm mostly telling myself that, because I'm still weary. It's been a day. I didn't do anything, mind you, but just because of uh, yesterday, there's a, there's a weight on my brain, is a nice way to put it. Oh, that's the stuff. I was also trying to watch a bunch of streams yesterday, or today? Today. I missed out on Whiskey Central stream yesterday because I was out having fun for once. <laughs> I felt a little bad about it because it was, uh... oh, God, Adriana and Shayla getting Shay Lambert, as it were. Limited showing batch 19C27, so maybe it's, well, it says that on a few of those. It might not be on here, by the way. That's the other thing. Well, yeah, you guys had to drive a ridiculous amount of time. I was home in just over an hour, and that's because I even stopped somewhere. I, I made a mistake by going into... Well, not a mistake, but bonus points for the fact that I can drive up to Irene's place in about an hour and ten minutes and then drive back, and there is a gas station where I can use my gas station card. It's a shell card. And there's, it's new. It's very new. And it's got a really nice, um, well, apparently it has like a cafe donut place, but it was closed when I was there. And, you know, basically just a 7-Eleven-ish environment without 7-Eleven. So that was nice. And they had a bathroom. Very important. They had a bathroom. Ghostface Bourbon, hello. Welcome. Can I have a wrench? Hold on. Nope, that's put user in timeout. Do that. There we go. Tim, you have a wrench now. Congratulations. You now have responsibilities and don't fuck it up. Hmm. This is very drinkable, actually, for rye. 
Nom, nom, nom. Ah. Bunk. Let's see if that worked. Did it work? I have no idea. Ow. Work. Doesn't like that. Let me try this. Yeah. I get it, I get it. Link wasn't cooperating for me for some reason. I don't know why. Most phase doesn't like the high west. More for me. High West is pretty weird. I've only had a few. And I I'm not exactly dragging my, my... I'm not going for the high-waist double ride all the time because it's rough. Uh-oh. I can cover people. we got a destination bourbon here. All hands. <laughs> Abandon ship. No. I mean, hello. 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 <clears throat> Welcome to the stream, sir. We have to get you up to Connecticut so you can do some crazy shit with uh, a few of us and enjoy some whiskey. I have people now who have actually experienced it, and they know. Oh, they know. And now you're missing out, and now you feel bad. You don't feel bad. But it'll be fun to actually have a bunch of Whiskey Dude people there again. I'm trying to get them all to come up here, but that's a, that's a task. I haven't even gotten Whiskey Dick to actually go to Irene's store yet. I mean, he should. I figured he would be, but you, you are all over the place, man. Like, I don't know how you travel so much. I'm sure it's for your job or something, but good God. Every time I see you, you're in a different place. It's bonkers. Mm. Do eat. I mean, I'm not going to... I feel bad asking other people to have me on their streams, let alone being like, hey, you want to meet up in real life? That's rough. Oh, good. I had your home safely. Traveling right now is bonkers. Off the rails will commence in three, two, one. <clears throat> right? Whiskey is my job, too. I'm just not very good at it, and I can't afford to travel. I can go to Connecticut if my car holds up. Still have to have that checked on. Hopefully, it's nothing, or at least nothing serious. I can get rid of something now. Uh, as I was mentioning earlier, and Klein, you'd like to see this. I, I didn't. I showed everyone at the start, but I'll show you too. I got bottle donations. Uh, these are a few. So, Open 14, Green Spot. Actually, I bought that one myself. Doesn't count. The other four Game of Thrones Scotch editions that I didn't have, still here, that were donated, and two other bottles, which I had to put down here because they have no room. Uh, something called Ancient Age 10. I've heard good things, mixed results, mixed reviews. Some people hate it. I have no idea who they are, but some. And this was donated by Bourbon Battalion and transported by Bourbon and called Magnolia, which I've never had. Although I have heard recently, it is from an MGP who some of us know about. Heard of at least. But I can get rid of this now. I was, I was popping this up for donations, <laughs> you know, saying I would like to review it. And uh, yeah, it was just given to me yesterday, so I don't, I don't have to worry about that now. And any donations I did get were going towards something else. What did they go to? I forget. There was something I had to... Oh, yeah. Registering my car. Don't worry. I know it's there. I gotta actually get rid of it completely. Bloop. Delete this overlay. Yes, do it. There. It's gone forever. Or until I bring it back. Speaking of bringing back overlays. There we go. We're good. Oh, good. Let's go. Oh, freaking chat's not in my face there. Here we go. I look forward to trying it. You know, as I say, donated a bottle. And even nicer that bourbon was so kind to actually hand deliver it to my my face. Ouch. Uh-oh. We'll get into it. As far as I'm concerned, this is actually nice. This is pretty much that's the wrong one. The high west DP Kaye. If it weren't for the fact that it was such a random release and probably a little different every time. 
This is a nice introductory rye sort of thing. Uh, although part of me just wants to, anyone who's never had rye, part of my brain is like, just give them high west double rye and see what happens. Because that is, that's a rye, man. <laughs> if you've never had high west double rye, for one, I did a review of it. I did a first taste of it. Shit. Uh, at some point, probably, I don't know when, because all I can say it has this much left in it, so maybe a year ago. The bottles are really nice. High West does an amazing job with the bottles. There we go. I really should move this closer or something, because just having to do this every time is a little uncomfortable. I feel like I'm going to tweak my shoulder at some point. Ten star, which means it's better. As far as I understand that. Cleveland whiskey. Never had it. I'm sure it's delicious. That's the thing, Ghostface Bourbon. You don't have to drink anything you don't like. Ever. And that just means there's more of what you don't like for other people who do like it. It's great. It's part of the whiskey world. There are plenty of people who aren't drinking peated scotches that other people are like, sweet, more for me. That's how I like to think of it, especially with stuff I really don't like. There are a few I haven't run across a lot. Nothing comes to mind instantly, thankfully. But I know there are some whiskeys I've tried. Oh, wait, no, there's one. But that, I don't even think that counts as whiskey, technically. There is a video I did, and it was a bottle my brother gave me for, like, Christmas or something. It was ridiculous. And it was absolutely terrible. And I dumped the last of it. Like, I got it down to that much and just... At that point, I'm like, why am I doing this to myself? Just dump it. What was that? Heaven Hill. Heaven Hill, blah, 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 blah. There was a whole bunch of text on it. It was 70% vodka, basically. And then it's like a splash of actual whiskey. Bottom and bond whiskey, I think. But I did a video of it. It was not great. And it's long gone, thankfully. And there's a whole liter of it, too. That's in the hill. But I tried mess, man. Like that much left. There's a bottle behind me I'm thinking of dumping at some point. It's a Johnny Walker wine age thing. Part of me wants to get rid of it. Part of me wants to give it to other people just so I can have a second opinion because it is one of the worst things I've ever tried. And it, I, I feel bad trying to give it to other people. But I felt that way about other scotches, which I did donate, or donate, give. To other people who I didn't meet yesterday, and I feel kind of, I'm going to feel bad about it, especially if you try it and hate it, but ugh. enjoy your food, sir. I'll be here. I will. I'll try to pop in. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to last tonight, but hopefully I'll be up till late-ish. Hopefully. Because, good God, my brain is fried from yesterday. So much socializing. Oh, for the, was it nine? I think it's nine o'clock. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah, okay, it's still in my head. For me, it's it's six to eight is my stream. Eight to nine is uh, it's bourbon night. And nine to ten-ish, Destination Bourbon. That's how I used to have it in my head. I don't know if anything's changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I dig this. It's not my absolute favorite. But it's good for a little a little bit of rye kick to it. Kind of reminds me a little bit more of them. It's like a... They do have one called a Boo Rye, which I think I've only had once. It's nice. I don't know. I think they are. I saw something earlier that said they were. How was it? They had a number of things they were trying tonight from what I saw. Oh, yeah, I got it pulled up right here. Five Brothers, 1792 12 year, silverback single barrel, live in 70 minutes, give or take. Uh oh. Bum, bum, bum. Whiskey drama. I have no idea what that's about. I'd rather keep it that way because if it's drama, I'm not interested. I don't have the time. Oh, weird. Interesting bottle picks from its bourbonite. 
1792. Well, I like that already. Well, the barrel pick I got that was donated, which I believe was the first bottle ever donated. So there's a special place in it for me, for me personally, it was a foolproof and it was a store pick. And it tasted like creme brulee. It was wonderful. I want it again. We'll see. We'll see if that ever happens. I know the store I go to for it is still still active and still the basic place I go all the time. But here's a perk. Uh, because I did get the green spot, which I'm not looking at, which is hard to do. There we go. The green spot from Irene's store, it was about 5 to $6 less there. And it made me feel good to buy something from her store, even though it wasn't one of her picks. Because guess what? Most of her picks are expensive. And I can't afford them. At best, I think the only thing I've actually bought from her is her Elijah Craig picks. Those are around 35 40 bucks 40-ish. And everything else is just bloop, far, far past my range. Granted, that that uh, green spot was around 30 wait, no, $63. But again, birthday present to me. Because if you didn't know, my birthday is July 7th. Whoa. I'll be 41. Yay. I feel like I have to make up for last year, but also at 40, you don't really know what to do with a birthday anymore. You're like, well, do I have cake or do I go somewhere? Should I be around a bunch of half naked women? Should I be around a bunch of half naked men? I mean, who knows? Both? Good times. But there are things like going to a strip club or going to a really fancy restaurant, which would make me feel real awkward, or. I don't do sports, so that's kind of out of the question. I wouldn't want to go to a sports event. Those places freak me out. Oop, I see the comments in chat over here, not over here. There we go. Thank you, James Morgan. Any lower prices are all due to the end of the tariffs? No, I have not noticed them, but I also haven't compared them officially because one of the fun things that is that I've done because I was taking pictures of certain whiskeys, because part of here's part of the plan. I'm gonna uh, tell all of you, it's not happening. It was something I had thought about doing, but 2020 just kind of was like, "Hey, you want like, you like that idea? Here you go." <laughs> no, uh, which is much like what bourbon does. Bourbon is where you can get bottles and actually just get them to people without any compensation or anything really being needed. Just if they want to give you a tip, or if they even want to open the bottle and give you some of it, that would be epic. But I quickly realized I have a very limited radius, uh, limited energy, and uh, my car, I don't know if it'll hold up. Because I have to keep in mind, is it a 2007 Malibu? And I've had it for quite a while. And I hope to have it for quite a while longer, since there's no way I can afford, afford another car ever. No, it's not bad. It's just, you know, turning 40 in 2020 wasn't really great. And uh, turning 41, when things are a little bit more relaxed and such, I would like to, I'd like to do something, but I don't know what. Because I don't have many friends, except online people. My actual friends, one is in Missouri, and one is in not Oklahoma. What's the other one that starts with O? Not Ohio. Oregon. She's in Oregon, so there's that. Very few people I actually meet and, and have friendship with in the area. So there's that. My brother and my parents. That's pretty much it. My brother and his girlfriend, although I can't say I'm friends with her, but we are acquainted in a positive manner, I suppose. What am I drinking? Bourbon baller, welcome. I am drinking a, a sample that was given to me. High West Yippie Kaye. It's a discontinued bottle, and we're not quite sure which one it is, so I'm not thinking about it too much. I'm just enjoying it as best I can. Some people here do not like High West. I don't mind High West. I haven't found any reason to dislike it. But I have to admit, the High West Double Rye is kind of crazy. If you don't like rye, do not have that. Or, well, if you don't like rye, try that and then regret it, probably. That's, that's my thought process about if you're... If I have a feeling you're going to dislike something, I can't, I can't say it for you. I can say, well, you try it, then let me know, because that's the only way I'm going to know for sure. But I know the specific scenario I'm thinking of in my head recently 
was when Adriana was on my stream, which seems like not long ago, but I feel like it was probably a month or two ago. And we went through a couple of whiskeys and bourbons, I believe. And then she was, she told me she had a sample of Chattanooga 101. Now I've had Chattanooga 101 and I know it is not bourbon. Uh, and I was, I was keenly aware of the fact that she might not enjoy it, but since I I don't know her taste very well, other than she likes Knob Creek and doesn't like Rise. I can't really, you know, I didn't say anything. I didn't want to, I didn't want to bias her in any way. And apparently she was not a huge fan, and I'm not a huge fan, but it's certainly an interesting type of whiskey. And I, I still have a bunch of Chattanooga samples I have to go through. They do a lot of weird finishing things. So some of them are good, some of them are weird as hell. I believe there was a fig emerano, emerino, emerino, finished one of these and it was not great i did not like it mm. yeah it says just enough spice i like rise though a little bit you know, some i like rise occasionally it's probably the best way to put it if you have too much of it it's not so much fun it can be kind of aggressive it's a little Black licorice ish 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 and um, eucalyptus mint that kind of thing. So if you're not a huge fan of those flavors, well, again, give it a try and then uh, get back to me because uh, many people do not like rise. I do like I guess I like wild turkey and I think wild turkey has rye in it. Let me double check. It's the one thing that I don't particularly enjoy about the whiskey website, which is what I'm using right now, which thankfully is back to semi-normal. But I think Wild Turkey has some rye. Go away. Rye in it. I'm already logged in. Son of a... Hold on. There we go. I have it open in two different tabs. It's confusing. One problem I have is that it doesn't tell the mash bills of any of these. It gives opinions from other people, but it does not say the mash bill and everything. I look up. <clears throat> oh, and also, if you haven't seen Inside on Netflix, I recommend it. I'm mostly just trying to get other people to watch it so I can talk to them about it because the songs from that show are stuck in my head all the time. But it's just wonderful. See it? Stop freaking me out. Uh, there's quite a bit of info here, but I don't think there's the mash bill. That's really what I wanted to see at this moment. Hopefully I'll be going to Kentucky in November, but that's a big if at the moment. Because funds and travel and such. I'll be sorry. I do this shit all the time. I've done that in horrible ways where I accidentally say something I did not mean to. Ah, okay, cool. I was wondering why there was a blip on Discord. I was wondering what the hell was going on. And now I got Phantom of the Hopper going through my head. Cool. I don't know why. Ah, there we go. Thank you. I need to use that on a different page. Ooh, here we go. Trying to figure out how the internet works is fun. <clears throat> All right, we're still going over this rye. It looks like it has two pages. This is quite a bit of info. Thank you. Now let's see if I can do the magic. I believe that's how you do magic. I'm not really sure. I wasn't taught. I'm not a magician or a wizard. Let's see, share screen, Chrome tab, yippee ki yay, mother. There we go. All right, we're on the High West, yippee ki yay, limited release. The double rye, this is a double rye? Couldn't tell. But I, but I assume that's because of the Syrah and Vermouth wine finish, wine barrels. That would completely change what this is. Because as I was saying, the double rye is a thing. <laughs> Straight, straight whiskey is aged for 2 to 16 years. 2 to 16? That's a bit of a gap. Ow. 
It's a blend. Oh, okay. No? I'll look at it. I'll look at it anyway. It says it's a blend of... It's basically a blend of really high rye stuff. The 95% rye with 5% barley malt from MGP. Okay, MGP is involved. Now we know. 53% rye, 37% corn, 10% malted barley from Barton, 80% rye, 20% malted barley, malted rye from High West Distillery. Oh, so it's a blend of numerous things as well. It does make it interesting. Some people hate that, but I'm a fan for doing blends from different places. We got MGP, Barton, and West High West. That's cool. Hmm. All right, let's go over the sensory notes, as they call it. Not tasting notes, sensory notes. Kind of like that. Cassia Bark. Don't know what that is. Red Currant. Currant? Red Currant Jam. Ooh, jam. Black Cherry. Dried Rose. Ooh, Dried Rose Petal. I like that one. Rhubarb. Star Anise. Yes. Fruit Leather. <laughs> I got that yesterday, actually. Clove and Brown Sugar. There was specifically... At Irene's store yesterday, which is part of what I'm talking about, because I went there and it was awesome. Some of you were there, so you can tell others how awesome that place is. And we'll have an awesome time there with many other people in the future, hopefully. But there was something she gave us that was it basically tasted like Japanese fig, I believe she called it. Or Japanese plum. I think it was Japanese plum. And for me, it reminded me of fruit leather, which I used to eat. Frequently as a child. At first it was fruit roll-up, but then it transferred to fruit leather, which I still enjoy to this day. It's basically the only kind of fruit I eat. Which probably isn't a good thing, but still. The taste. Bright rhubarb. Bitter orange. Oh, yeah. Bitter orange? Or orange bitters, I would think of, but I forget what they mean. Bitter orange peel, sorry. Smooth vanilla. Ugh. Strawberry reduction. Birch. Boysenberry and herbs de Provence. <laughs> Provence. It's enjoyable. Definitely rye. Finish candy, ginger, clove, and red currant. Lively interplay between berry, fruit, and rye spice. I get that. A little bit of fruit. Good portion of rye, but easy to drink. That's the one thing about rye is it can be extremely overwhelming to some people. How to drink, which is a channel on YouTube. <laughs> How to drink. Keep your shows best at room temperature. Neat with little little time in the glass sitting idle. Well, I've definitely been doing that. The bouquet, it really opens up to its full potential. It's very nice. I mean, if you like rye, if you don't, well... Why are you drinking High West is really the question. And uh, the big blip here. I can't read that tiny print. Product specs. Shipping dimensions. Never got it. You can see the bottle. That's about it. But I like the little yippee ki -yay dude. Guy on a horse. Trying not to die, basically. So stop sharing. Back to big mode. Yay! Hello, Bourbon Neophyte. Welcome. We need to get you up to the New England area to have a bunch of whiskey at a certain place that I went to yesterday with other people. There were other human beings in my presence. That doesn't happen very often. I don't know why. Well, I barely get, well, I go to Starbucks enough when I shouldn't. I'm trying not to, but it's about the extent of my socializing. And even then, I don't want to be around those people. Hmm. Paint your wagon. Paint your wagon. Songs were good. All right. Put on the list. Wherever my list is. Hold on. Because at once it's madness. Paint your wagon. All right, next on the long, the long list of samples we're having tonight, trying to have one from each person who donated yesterday, we have 
barrel bourbon, barrel 16. I think that's what it says. Will the whiskey app find this? Probably not. It's worth a look. Whoops. Did I close the thing? Hold on. I did. Right now, I got Mary Poppins songs in my head. Swell. Early each day at the steps of St. Paul, a little old bird woman comes in her own special way to the people she calls. Come by my bags full of crumbs. <coughs> okay. Come feed the little birds. Show them you care, and you'll be glad if you do. The young ones are hungry, the nests are so bare. All it takes is tuppence from you. <coughs> that song stuck in my head. Get it out. I don't know if I've had many barrel things. Barrel. But hopefully I will in the future. There were a couple of bur uh, barrel picks, picks, barrel bourbons, barrel whiskeys that were available at Irene's store yesterday. One of them was the seagrass. Is that the one people have been talking about lately? So I'm not going to lie. I can't keep track. I can't. I've tried. It doesn't work. I believe I heard the word seagrass before. There we go. Babel, babel bourbon. It's babel bourbon. Barrel batch bourbon. B16. I don't think I'm going to find anything about this on this site, but I'm still going to pour it because why not? A little bit. Still have a lot to go. We're at the one hour mark, so of course I've started singing. Sorry. Seems to be the case every time, almost every time. Definitely not every time. Oh, this is It's either barrel or batch. I'm guessing batch, batch 16 seems way down the line, but... There are some 013s here, so maybe. Let's see if I can find a batch 16. Oh, thank you. I oh, thank you. So, yes, I always forget to say that. I have the thing up here. Like and subscribe. Magic. I don't think it's going to make anyone subscribe, but hey, it might. Nope, it's not finding it. Let me see if I can find it on the Google. The Google. Tell me all you know. <clears throat> There's one specific thong, thong, song that keeps going through my head uh, called Welcome to the Internet. And if you haven't seen it, well, <laughs> just say it's poignant and uh, describes the Internet very well. Also describes what being an ADHD person is like because you cannot keep track of anything. And you're easily distracted. Very, very, very easily distracted. Very, 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 very. Oh, here's the thing I was looking for. Yes, am I over 21? Yes, shut up. All right. I'm at the Barrel website. Thankfully, they have this. Barrel Bourbon Batch 016, which is what I'm assuming this is. Because all it says is B16, but that's, that's what I'm assuming it is. If I'm wrong, well, call me a liar. That was a strange noise. You probably didn't hear that, but I did. I think it was coming from upstairs. On to the whiskey. Again, barrel batch, bar barrel B, B16. What the heck? I need to add more. I'm getting a smell out of it, but I can't quite figure out what it is. It's kind of fruit-like. Just probably dump the whole thing in there. I'm not gonna yet. Oh, there we go. Ooh. It's nice. I think it's like cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake or something like that. That's fun. And again, I don't know if how many if I don't know if I've had barrel stuff before at all. I know it's uh, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, it's blended stuff. Like they do a lot of blends, I think. 
Yeah, and I have stopped trying to keep track of what every single whiskey person does. Long ago. Hmm. There's something. I think that's cinnamon. It's one of the ones I'm not quite pro at getting every time. There's more to this, certainly. It's making me think of desserts. Very slight fruit notes. It seems kind of... I don't know if it's because of the rye I had earlier, but it seems tamped down a little bit as far as the smell goes. Or nose. Ooh. There's a bit of vanilla. Actually, I just got a son. I just smacked in the head by, I guess, a vanilla bean. That's what I should call it. Or vanilla extract. That might be good too. I think extract. Well, it smells good. So I might as well get to the uh, drinking part. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, hi. <laughs> Hello. That was nice. Oh, it was nice as a first sip. A little bit dry on the tongue now. Oh, that was fruit something, and it reminded me of something, but it went so fast. My brain is saying some kind of creme brulee with fruit on it. And I really like, I really like any kind of bourbon that reminds me of creme brulee, because guess what? I really like creme brulee. I should probably get that as my dessert. So what I should do is I should look up the best creme brulee in Rhode Island. And then go there and hope the rest of the food is good. And that they have whiskey. We'll see. I have a feeling I don't I, my my tastes aren't up to the fanciest creme brulee, but I won't know until I try it. So pretty easy to please as far as desserts come go like sh sugary good deliciousness chocolate cake wonderful although technically as i have gotten to the age i am dessert tends to be whiskey if they have it if not cappuccino probably Ooh. oh man there's something there man what is that it's kind of fruity and candy-like. Mmm. Shit, that's good. <laughs> I don't know how to describe that perfectly, but oh my goodness. That is right in my wheelhouse. Right up my right up my alley. I don't know. Phrases. Alright, I gotta say, I like this one. Which is bad. Because I've thought about getting barrel stuff before, and they do so many different things. There's no way to guarantee I will like what they do and the cost. I know the price of barrel whiskeys are uh, up there, we'll say. Now let's go over what they say in their tasting notes, and I will share the screen with you if I can do so without showing you all the porn I look at. I mean, uh, without showing you the wrong tab. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here we go. Hey, I did the right one. So, it's got a bunch of info here, which is good. I don't know if you can see it. This way. Over here. There's a lot of words. I don't know if you have full screen or anything. Uh oh. Hello. That's a fun question. One area of time to go to. You're unable to interfere. You can only watch. Where are you going? I want to say somewhere in the future, but since that hasn't happened, it's uh, hard to pick out. And when I think about going to the past, it's probably some tragic event that I can't do anything about. So, not sure, we'll say. <laughs> and plus, I don't know if I want to go to any other point in time. Because uh, a lot of horrible... I've lived through enough horrible things. Usually, it's, it's, it's usually the turning points where horrible things are happening. And you can't do anything about it. So 
that would be not good for my anxiety. You know, going there and being like, I can't do a thing. <laughs> so I will say somewhere in the future. That way I win because I can't tell and neither can you. Ha! I win. Off to the barrel. A blended straight bourbon whiskeys distilled in ancient Tennessee, Indiana, and Kentucky. Selections of... God damn it, I did it again. Bring the damn thing here. I'm looking right at it now. And almost looking at you. Hi. Right. Selection of nine-year, nine-month, and 11 and 15-year-old barrels. See the blending. The blending's madness. Aged in American white oak barrels. Crafted and bottled in Kentucky. 105.8 proof. Cast strength bottling. Mash bill, corn, rye, and malted barley. As are most bourbons. It won gold at San Francisco World Spirit Competition in 2019. Well, well, aren't you fancy? Appearance. Polished copper with edges fracturing into a spectrum ranging from marigold to pollen. That's a lot of fancy words right there. I'd say it's a light amber. <laughs> Possibly, well, yeah, light amber. Most, most bourbons I see look like this. If not a little darker, I kind of like the darker ones for whatever reason, just because of the appearance. Nothing, nothing really good about that. I have plenty of that look like that that aren't great. Nose sweet on the nose and exhibiting a well-integrated depth of oak. The aroma is packed with cherry. Ah, Calfutis Coginaman. Wow, I don't know what that is. Cherry Calf Calfutis Calgunaman. Pecan pie and cinnamon rolls. This is balanced by oaky spices, nutmeg, marshmallow, marshmallow root, cocoa powder, and oak derived notes that only come from slow maturation moss, candy prunes, unlit cigars, ooh, sandalwood, fruity notes, ha, a rubbed orange and lime peel, ambrosia, dried apricots, fresh peach, tantalizing, along with every present intriguing mineral note and flint, slate, and iron. I don't know why I started talking that way. It gave me a lot of stuff to think about, though. And for whatever reason, the nose is muted to me. It might just be, it's probably me and the fact that I had a rye first. That might not have helped. But I can see nutmeg. I want to get marshmallow. I did say something about creme brulee, which is like liquid marshmallow almost. <laughs> Doesn't sound right. Or gelatinous marshmallow, I suppose. I get marshmallows are pretty gently anyway. Going down a road, I don't need to go down. Moss. I like candied praline. Unlit cigar is pretty good. Sandalwood, I like that. Fruity notes. I was so happy to see that. Orange and lime. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what umbrushy is, but it sounds good. It does have a nice smell to it, and it is a little spicy. I didn't get cherry, crafotis, cowgin, and my mom ram mom and So, and I like pecan pie. Pecan, pecan. Cinnamon roll, too. That's great. Palette. That's oh, so good. Son of a bitch. Texture sweet and oily. Yes. Deeply flavorful without any woody bitterness. Coconut oil, honeycomb, a rich backdrop for bright notes of peach, milk chocolate, Italian roast coffee, and barrel char. It might be peach, actually. Because I'm definitely getting this kind of fruit note. I don't get coconut oil because well, honeycomb, maybe. But the peach... That feels like the right direction. Milk chocolate, even, maybe. I don't know if I've had any Italian roast coffee. And there is a bit of bar barrel char as well. Just a bit. Finish blackberry and elderberry come to the fore as the mineral notes of graphite, slate, and iron, copper, salt, brod salt, broden? salt, broden. All this is overlaid to top molasses. Molasses. It's really... The smell is a little, you know, plat to me, but the taste of this stuff, holy shit, <laughs> it's really good. And it's because it's got this, like, burst of fruit in the middle, but it's gone so fast. It's gone so fast. It's a little ridiculous. 
I really like the smell. I like the taste more. I'm not going to lie. All right. Back to larger me mode, as I guess I should call it. Because I forgot I was not like that. Hello. From a fountain, it form a foundation has a lot of time in his hands. But thank you for being here on Twitch. I appreciate that. <laughs> Single ticket to the time traveling. No one has that. Swiss Kids private release is very good. Yeah, I mean, Miss Whiskers, Kids. That's really the thing I worry about. Is I know Barrel does a lot of blending and such, and this this is fantabulous as far as my tastes go. But all the other options they have out there and all the different blends, especially for the price they usually have them at. Oh, I don't know. I don't have a solid definition of Dickel. Some people do. I do not. But let's see if it gave me any clues here. I didn't even read the flip. Well. I didn't, I skipped over the flavor notes, but I went right to appearance, nose, palette, which is probably good because it gave away some stuff at the start. The mineral notes. I like the idea of that. It doesn't say exactly. Like I wish they said, I wish they told you exactly where they got it from, but they don't. They do give you the mash bill though, but it's not percentages. It's corn, rye, malted barley. That could be anything. Crafted and bottled in Kentucky. That's all I got. Selections of nine-year, nine-month, 11, and 15-year-old barrels. But straight bourbon whiskey is distilled and aged in Tennessee, Indiana, Kentucky. It's Indiana is the word I'm looking at. Tennessee. That's this possibility of a dickle in Kentucky. So, ah. I also have some... Uh, talk about this the spring water addition which i'm looking at the barrel thing again we were looking at the oak is pushed into the background revealing the character of the spirit beneath aromas vanilla buttercream brioche pina colada and honeysuckle appear palette grows quite syrupy and develops some of the pastry shop characteristics of the nose with the finish evolving with gingerbread cinnamon cinnamon cin cinnamon and wintergreen Ooh. I'm not adding water, but still, it sounds nice. Mm. <laughs> Why does that have to be so good? Damn it. Wish I'd never tried this. That's a lie. I'm very happy I got to try this. It's lovely. And this is the bottle. It gives us Anthony, I think. Still quite not, still not quite sure. I do. I do. I have a bottle of Dickel behind me, Dickel 101, so I could try it. Not gonna. Again, I haven't eaten since noon, so I'm pacing myself. Hold on. I'm trying to keep up with chat. Does it? I wouldn't know. This tastes wonderful. Dovetail? What is dovetail? I'm trying to keep up with the chat is impossible. I mean, I imagine Bourbon Battalion would do that. From what I understand, he likes to mix everything and make it better. But uh, to me, that sounds like work. And also, I'm not paid to be a... I'm not paid, first of all, but if I were, it would have to be a significant amount to try to blend stuff together, especially to make it good, because that, that is rough. Like, I, I have to, in my head, I have to try to appreciate the work that goes into making whiskey because it's crazy. Not only the process to make it, which is ridiculous, distilling in general, holy crap, how the hell did we even figure that out? Then the time, the time in the barrels. Like, it can be months to years, but usually it's years, and I'm not a patent person, so I don't know if I could deal with that. Especially I've had to keep like testing it, see how it's doing. And then you have to get to the tasting bit, which is part of the waiting. Is you have to keep trying it, see what's happening with it. 
And then you possibly get into blending, which is a whole other thing. It's like chemistry, basically. Trying to get things to suit a profile that you like or that some of you like. Hoping other people like it. That's why I think a lot of the, the big names are going for a very standard profile. They're going for the base, especially with bourbons. They're going for, you know, cinnamon, caramel. What else is up there? And then oak, of course. But you'll get that out of almost every single. And vanilla. Those are ones you can pick out of bourbons very, very, very easily. Oh, this is good. I don't want to finish it. I might pour the rest of that later because holy sh But we still have one more to go. I still have about 30 minutes left-ish. Oh, it's got to be a peach thing. I have, I don't remember the last time I ate a peach, but I do know I remember enjoying fruit leather, like apricot and peach stuff. And that, that's kind of what's rolling around my head now that I've read the actual tasting notes they had on their site. Oh, so good. Oh, gosh, why? All right, one more. This one, I feel bad for this one now because it's going after one I really liked. Uh, though I didn't enjoy the High West Yippie Kaye, it is rye. It's you know a bit aggressive. It's got kind of spiky notes. It's probably one way to put it. Oh, look, speak of the devil. I wasn't speaking of you at all, but now I am. Ah, that's what it was. I was watching the Whiskey Central on the replay. I felt bad. I couldn't actually be there, but there was a reason I wasn't, and I will show you because... You're going to be slightly jealous. Probably won't care. So, I had my first official meetup yesterday. Officially. And it was at a place in Connecticut. Which is why you should visit uh, Rhode Island slash Connecticut slash Massachusetts someday. Vacation. I don't know. I know you don't want to return to living on the East Coast. But visiting and seeing the ocean again is good for the lungs. <clears throat> but... I wish I could transition a little better than this, but here we go. So, I got some donations yesterday. One, I got about 30 samples from the generosity of some people who are here, who, you know, raise your hand if you know who you are. Uh, the Oban 14 was donated to me. I really like that whiskey. I was trying to do a bottle fun to get it. Don't have to do that now. I bought myself a green spot. My birthday is on July 7th, so got my gift for myself here. Uh, then a gentleman known as Cliff, who I was fortunate enough to bump into early on when I first went to Irene's store, uh, Irene Tan, the Whiskey Vault episode, sorry, R R Whiskey Tribe, so if you want to watch that, I I'll try to post it in the chat for you because it's important. I don't think you're a Whiskey Tribe slash Vault person, but if you aren't, I'm going to point you in that direction. So he gave me the other four Game of Thrones whiskeys I didn't have. So we have a Talisker, a Clanglish, a Royal Lochnagar, Lochnagar, and a Cardu. I never had any of those, as far as I know. And the guy was just like, here, have these four bottles and this bottle. Donated to the channel suddenly. Ha! Huh! I don't know how to deal with that level, level of generosity. Part of me wanted to cry. I didn't, but I, I was tempted. And then we have... Two other bottles. This was donated by, I believe, Bourbon Battalion. It's Magnolia. And Bourbon is the one who transported this to me, so thank you for that again, Bourbon. Who I met in person, by the way. And then there's, all, there's also this one. Uh, Ancient Age 10 Star. I, I have no idea what's going to happen with this, but should be good. I think it's 45%. It's got an email address on it. That's pretty neat. Yeah, 45%. And I'm supposed to pair this one against the sample that I put down here, which moved. But uh, I believe Bourbon said, try the Elmer T. Lee versus the Ancient Age. And I'm not even on camera anymore. I'm back. I'm good. Smooth. Yep. Smooth. My, my green chair is showing. There we go. Right? It's ridiculous. This is why meetups are fun. Hopefully you will get to come up here and I can drag you to that store with the hubs. 
you sciencey people, and we can geek out on Star Trek and just drink whiskey. It's going to be glorious. Maybe. Someday. Traveling is expensive, but... And also, traveling is going to be real crazy over the next year and a half, two years, because of how bonkers people went over the past year. He did. I don't know if he's going to like them, but I gave him some samples. Scotch. I gave the bourbon scotch, which feels weird, but I did. What is opening? I can't. I have to do an official video first. This is free, and I'm not, I'm not, it's bourbon night, opening bottles on stream. That's crazy. Talk. Ow. I want to try this one next. It's a Russell's. Russell's Reserve. TW. I don't know what that means. Rick C and F F L 6110P. Sounds like a lot of words right there. A lot of numbers. Letters and numbers. But I'm looking forward to it. I will try the ancient age at some point soon. Don't worry. I have to do content. The YouTube overlords demand my content, and I have lots of bottles, clearly, to do content about suddenly. But also, I need to mork, make mork. I need to mork more uh, clickbaity bullshit. Broadening the horizons. That's what I'm doing. Expanding the palette. It's another good phrase. Oh, good. I'm looking forward to it even more now. Ow. There you go. Total wine. Okay. So it's a total wine thing. There's one total wine around me. Guess what? It's about an hour away. Now, if I were you and you were me, that'd be weird. But the point is, if you were me and you could either travel an hour to get to a total wine or an hour to get to Irene's store, which do you think you would prefer to go to? Let's think that over. And that would be fun. Like it would be, but I also want, uh, well, as I was hoping, you and uh, Anthony, Tony Tutos, I think, I'm mixing up names now, but you guys could at least compare notes a little bit about those because they're weird. Or at least a couple of them I do not like. So, ugh. Camp Nelson. The best Russell Turkey Rick House. Oh, okay. You're talking it up pretty hard now. I'm, and again, uh, for, for Whiskey Mountains who just popped in, I got to try Barrel Bourbon uh, Batch 16, I think it was. It's freaking delicious. It's like creme brulee and with peaches on it. Oh, so good. I'm going to finish this bottle tonight no matter what. I'm going to feel bad about it because, holy moly, that was delicious. Dry, crunchy peanut butter. I like crunchy peanut butter, believe it or not. But peanut is something I haven't gotten on many whiskeys. Like, people talk about a nutty note, and my brain just goes, what? Ah! I, can, I can think about peanut butter and the taste of it, but I won't get it on anything. At best, I might be able to get like peanut, I think I'd be able to get peanut butter or peanuts, and I think I'd be able to get cashews. But that's it. Like I've had almonds, and they don't have much of a taste to me, funny enough. Yeah, that would be a real short stream. Hi, everyone. We're here to try some samples. This is disgusting. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Done. All right, here we go. The special Russell's Reserve from Total Wine. Be a little weird to say, but oh. man, I'm getting a whole range of radio slash weird songs in my head tonight. Like there was one that popped in there, and another just pushed it aside. And it was uh, "Why Do Birds?" So, was it birds? Why do do suddenly appear every time that you're near? I don't even know what song it is. It's weird. Old Ezra 7? Dry peanut butter. Hmm. Yes, yes. I, I figured as much. I know he had these black labels that are written on. 
And I figured he gave me that one. That was the one thing I figured. Like once you and um, Jim told me what yours were, you know, power of deduction, I was able to figure out he had the black labels with the handwritten notes. I have about six of those. Also, Whiskey Mountains, I was giving about 30 samples in one day, so that was ridiculous. Along with all the bottles behind me and the ones I just showed you, it's, uh, I don't know how to handle this. But also, it was a wonderful time, and I hope to have many Whiskey 2 people in general come on down, come on up, come over here. New England, it's a great place. Utah's not so great. It's a wonderful place, I'm sure. But my point is, I'm trying to get more people to, uh, oh, damn it. To get to Irene Tan's store. And I didn't give you the link. I'm really good at this, I promise. Mm -hmm. ah. myself. All right, let's see if I can find it. It's important that I find this. Type without looking at things. It's great. Also, you get to see um, Irene. That's kind of important. Is it birds? Why do something suddenly appear every time that you're near? It's freaking me out. And that song is stuck in my head. I don't know what to do about it. <clears throat> All right, here you go. To everyone in chat who is not sure who or what I'm talking about with the Whiskey Tribe slash Vault slash whatever and Irene Tan store, which she opened about 2019. Feels like it was just yesterday. There's the link. Open it in a different tab. Save it for later. Save it for... I don't know, tomorrow, later. There's a lot of streams going on tonight. After my stream, there's It's Bourbon Night. And then there are another number of streams happening. I believe the Women of Whiskey are doing a, doing a stream. I think at the same time Destination Bourbon is. Not 100% sure. And then Livewire, maybe? Or freaking... What's the other one? I'm missing one. Whiskey Nose. There are a lot of streams going on tonight. That's the only thing I know, and I honestly don't bother to try to keep track anymore because my head hurts. Well, at least that means she cared. I don't know. It was it was probably a sharp... It was a machete, so you're good. Probably. Yeah. Yes, I've, I've been taught. I asked. Oh, it's so much fun. You know, I mean, well, the last one I had, which was yesterday, was a lot of fun where I was terrified. It would just all fall apart and everyone hate it because that's my mentality. I still the one thing I haven't told on stream, but I was convinced that I had left my mask or lost my mask, you know, mask at uh, at the restaurant we went to. But thankfully, I just forgot it in my car and I was convinced I had lost it and felt like an idiot for at least 12 hours. So, thankfully that's gone, and I do still have it. Don't really need it much these days, but, you know, part of me was, felt pretty shit about it. I've had it for the entirety of this entire last year, so. <laughs> well, I was going to say that. I know I am, but, uh, I don't know. You'd have to ask uh, Jim, Anthony, and Ben Bourbon about that. They will know. They will They will probably say I'm much shorter in person. So there's that. Perfect. There you go. T-shirt. Done. Not by me. Someone else. I'm one of the person who likes having ideas, but I will not go to the effort. I cannot. That's the thing. I cannot do the thing because my energy level is shit. Even today, part of me was like, how am I going to do the stream? So, well, just drink a glass of whiskey and you'll be fine. Cool, I can do that. Hmm. I didn't really notice this whiskey, but I just sapped it. Sapped it. I just sapped it. It's good. I've learned to lean into mispronunciations. So I just uh, roll with it at this point. This is good. I'm not getting any kind of peanut. In it. Well, hold on. Maybe for about half a second, as soon as I started to say I didn't get it. That's nice. It's not too dry. A little bit of spice. It's not blowing me away, but also it had really hard competition beforehand. This, uh, this barrel pick was fucking amazing. 
Oh, I'm upset that I can't get that for real now. Well, no, I probably can't. I'll keep it in mind, though. If I ever see a barrel uh, batch 16, I will grab it and use a credit card, which is a dumb thing to do, but you only live once, as they say. Yes. We're, we're all a little mad here, as the saying goes. Oh, yes. The food was good. The drink was good. It was all good. The travel, not great. My travel was fine, except for a little bit of traffic. But as um, the other gentlemen who were there will tell you, the traveling there from a distance, on the weekends especially, I can only blame the weekend because that's when everyone's trying to get somewhere. And trafficking accidents just goes to hell. Also, there's a whiskey mustache fund. Links below for the Patreon. By the way, I have a Patreon. And uh, like and subscribe, please. If you haven't, we're climbing towards 400, which is just another step to 500, which is just another step to 1,000. We're getting there, man. Slow and steady wins the race, as my uh, aunt used to say. She died in the fire. It's a joke. It's a bad joke. I'm sorry. I stole it from uh, Bo Burnham. But uh, it's just because I said slow and steady wins the race because. Wah! Yes, I do like trying Russell's. Like any kind of turkey product, wild turkey product, I should say. Anything turkeys make is great. So wild turkey products, especially the Russell's. I'm trying to find that that one that just blows my mind. I take another sip. And again, yeah, you know, part of it is just the, the tasting lineup. I had this absolutely astounding barrel pick. Barrel, barrel bourbon. This one. And it was right up. <laughs> I guess I right up my alley again. It was, per my taste, delicious, you know, creme brulee and peaches. And then I go to Russell's, which is, you know, bourbon bourbon. But, like, experiencing that before that didn't help it, unfortunately. Oof, that's good. It is good. Like, as a Russell's, it's just freaking good. I'm trying to get that peanut note, though. That's the problem. Or peanut butter, you said. And for me, it's just spicy and bourbony. You know, cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg. A little bit dry. Nothing crazy. Not like, you know, soul-sucking my tongue. That sounds weird. Not tremendously dry. I've had a few. Richie Z, hello. And yes, apparently I am five subs away from 400. Try not to think about it. But uh, we'll get there. The goal, supposedly, from, from what you've said and some others have said, is to get to 1,000 subscribers this year. We're at the halfway point, and I'm not at 500, so I'm you know, a skeptic, as always. But we'll see. We will see. I have to make more clickbaity bullshit content, and then maybe. I have to, I have to nail down some good ones. Pretty much just look at all the other Whiskey 2 people and see which ones they did that are doing well. I know one is uh, my top five bourbons or my... I'll probably do my top five whiskeys because I don't like sticking to one format. But saying that, I should probably stick to one that actually is my top five bourbons or something like that because I have a lot of bourbons. I'm not going to lie. Or I can do my favorite peated scotches. I have quite a few peated scotches. So... Oh. Oh. I'm losing track of things. I still have that song stuck in my head. Ah. She had a lot of stuff, man. It was, it was kind of hard to believe. And so many barrel picks. Like That's one of the real issues that people are going to have when they go to Irene's star, star, store is that she has so many freaking barrel picks that she's done, and they're all freaking delicious. Like uh, Whiskey Mountains. She had a Knob Creek pick, and I don't know if anyone got in touch with you about it, but if you wanted, one of us could pick it up and then <clears throat> hand deliver it to you someday. If you were curious. I mean, I'd be curious. I still am curious about a Knob Creek 15, however. I actually haven't dabbled with Knob Creek too much, believe it or not. 
I've only had maybe the hundred proof, the the it's bourbonite barrel pick. And I think that's kind of it. Like that's the I've only had two knob creeks. Full stop. And honestly, if you watch the video I did of the initial one, it was I wasn't a huge fan. However, caveat, I don't think I was really big on high proof stuff at the time. Work I worked my way into it. But I haven't tried any serious Knob Creek since, other than the It's Bourbonite pick. Hello, Brian Toner. Welcome. Thanks for showing up. Just being here is enough, man. When I want to say is irrelevant, but YouTube keeps track. Yeah, I could try doing that, but it'll be weird. <laughs> That's the one thing I can say. If I do any kind of video like that, it'll be weird. Like I can even I can see myself saying the beginning. It's, it'll be something along the lines of "Thank you for joy, <laughs> thank you for clicking on my clickbait," <laughs> and then it'll go into the video. You know, like and subscribe, and here we go. Kind of crap because I can't get past that. I'm one of the. I'm trying to be as upfront and I don't know if personable is the right word because I'm such a mess, but. Um, I don't want to feel like I'm selling anything, I guess. But I can I can give my opinion on stuff. I'm okay with that. That's what the whole whiskey tube thing is about. Everyone's got a different opinion. And more importantly, everyone wants to try different things and have new stuff kind of deal. I know I do. Like this Russell's was really good. But I feel bad that I put it up by accident up against this barrel pick thing that was just, it blew my freaking mind kind of. Much like yesterday when I went to a certain liquor store in the Connecticut area, which I think everyone should go to once in their life. And Irene would agree with me because of how much money she makes every time people go there. <laughs> That's the one thing I kind of feel bad about is I, I invite people. I don't invite people, but I recommend a place to visit so we can all, you know, have us have a location where there's a lot of whiskey to have. But I'll be damned if she doesn't make quite a chunk of change whenever people go there. From me or otherwise. Like, I, I only bought one bottle, but everyone else was insane. I mean, you know, they enjoyed it, to say the least. Right. Hmm. Crap. Every time I go, hmm, uh, because of Hot Buttery Rolls in his show last night, <laughs> he kept going, hmm, <laughs> in a certain way. And it was hilarious. I, I noticed it every time. Uh, oh, yes. Thank you, Richie Z. Richie Z, you're so nice. You get to do all the stuff I should be saying more. But yes, please like, subscribe. Send your friends here to subscribe as well. Because just, you know, tell them I'm trying to get to a 1,000. That's usually enough incentive. It's free. It doesn't cost anyone anything to hit that button. Especially if they like whiskey. It's kind of my thing. I like whiskey. I like to share it with people. The experience, at least. My own experience. It's all I can give, folks. <laughs> the only thing I can give you is my experience with the product. And I won't lie to you. At least I'll try not to. Uh, I, th I have a feeling I'm the type of person who will soften things and not be cruel about dislikes. But for the most part, if you meet me in person, I will say if I do not like it. And uh, I know with Irene's store, oh, God, she has so much fucking good stuff. It's ridiculous. So much good stuff. Ugh, like Franklin, why? I don't know what it is here, but it's not that. I'll throw you off by saying the the Celsius, but let's see, I'll tell you. 24 degrees Celsius here right now. That's around 50, 75 ish, kind of Fahrenheit. So it's glorious. I don't have the windows open because unfortunately in Rhode Island it's a little muggy most of the time. I do. Magnolia was donated as of yesterday. Whiskey Mountains, you are, you're in some pretty hot areas. You, you haven't even wanted to go to the trekking because of that. Believe me. Ow. When I did that little... I can't call it a hike. When I walked up a hill and went to the top of it, it was pretty warm. And uh, as, as you know, my main problem is my skin tone and the fear of burning uh, is prevalent so I try not, I try not to stay in the sun very long especially during the middle of the day it's not fun 
Well, as always, Russell's Reserve or Russell's, yeah, Russell's Reserve is always a lovely draft, but I have yet to find one that really blows my mind. I have a feeling this is 100 to 10, which is pretty close to what I usually drink anyway. You know, Wild Turkey 101 is a stretch, and especially um, Rare Breed. Rare Breed I certainly enjoy. Mmm. Oh, yay. There's one real problem with being on Twitch is the amount of spam they get. So far, I've had three people stop in on Twitch, which is glorious. One of them said hello. The rest either asked weird questions or spammed the chat. So, fun. I have to deal with that now. God damn. Hang on. Boop. There we go. There was another one who asked me questions about jumping into the future, so I won't say it's a bad thing. But uh, whatever. All right, there we go. God, it, I got to get out of this. It's weird watching me on Twitch. I'm not trying to get myself a viewer on Twitch by being the only one there. It's not cool. What about moose? Where is there a moose? Hold on. Oh, Maple Moose by Canada? I have no idea what we're talking about. Yes. Whiskey Mountains, I would imagine that is rough. Alex, hello. I don't know if I said hi to you. I think I did. But I'm really bad at memorizing things, especially at this point in the stream where I'm sipping whiskeys, haven't eaten since noon, and... Well, a little tired. Okay. There we go. I figured someone was named Moose something here. I know I've seen your name before, something, something Moose, but I can't put those two things together. My brain doesn't work that well. Hmm. Whiskey Mountains for here. Well... You said you were on the East Coast at some point. I was watching your the replay with you and Whiskey Central, and you mentioned something about never coming back, one of all. But I don't know if you lived here or your husband lived here. I know he said he's from New England area. I don't remember where. But I think you would, or both of you might know of the, being near the water is great, and the ocean and such, but also the humidity here can get real shitty. <laughs> Just because you're near the water and the temperature gets weird. So, you know, 90, 90 degrees and humid, not fun. Or 75 even. I don't, I don't, my, my happy area is what's going on right now with 70-ish. But the humidity usually just sucks. But I've learned to deal with it by having air conditioning. Yay. Any more questions for the uh, the meetup yesterday? Please let me know. Again, I have lots of bottles donated. I have lots of samples to go through now. It's ridiculous, and I love it. And I've clearly found a, a hitter in this little sample we did. The freaking barrel B16 is, you know, as I said, creme brulee and peaches in the glass. And oh, I want to drink it all, which I probably will tonight. Which I feel a little bad about, but... You know, there's no reason to save it, you know? It's not going to help. It's not going to do anything for me sitting in the glass and just thinking about how much I like it. Boop. I got one thing. South Carolina? He did live in Rhode Island? That seems bizarre. No one lives here. Oh, gosh, no. Why would... I mean, you have found your place, as it were. For me, I don't know where that is yet. However... Uh, the thing I have to say is I would feel really weird not being near the ocean. I don't know why that is, but I, I think it's just one of those, well, it's probably Rhode Islanditis or Islanditis as it's called around here where you're, you're so used to being on an island. Like I was born and raised on an island, Aquitic Island, which is part of Rhode Island and actually an island connected only by bridges. So I imagine part of it is that. I've always been close to the ocean in general, so having the idea of being in a place where there is no ocean nearby feels weird. I, didn't, I don't understand it. it. It feels like something would be wrong. 
So I guess I have to be on the either the east or the west coast, it seems. Probably east. Although, I like the idea of, um, was it Washington? I don't know if that's right. You know, west coast without the constant um, earthquakes would be nice. So up north. Pretty much just the other side. <laughs> I think I could deal with. Never been there. I hope to go there someday and enjoy a lot of salmon. Maybe go to Alaska someday. That'd be fun. Kind of cold, but, you know, fun. Whoop. See it? I really don't know, Richard Z. I, like, the fact that I have this many, I don't know how to deal with. But if I were to say, I'm looking forward to actually getting to do a, a well, I want to say first taste. That's not true. But doing a video about the Oban 14 so I can go over why I like it so much. And I'll be happy to crack open my green spot for my birthday uh, on July 7th. And I should say something else to those of you who have stayed, you know, with me this long. I will hopefully be having a special guest on July 14th, which is a Wednesday, kind of a weird time. And I've been trying to do whiskey videos, whiskey streams on Wednesday on and off. But I know it's a weird time just to say that. However, the guest has asked, not asked, but they, they said that's a good time for them. And, you know, that's part of why I do the streams. That I try to do streams and let people know who are going to be guests that these are the times whenever you're available. And for this one, let's just say they're not in my vicinity. So it may be kind of late for them. And I am I'm being amiable and uh, trying to accommodate. I'm not amiable. I'm trying to accommodate. Is my point. And that will be again on July 14th, hopefully, unless something changes. And again, my birthday is July 7th. If anyone wants to do something stupid, which I hopefully not, but it'll be fun. Again, donations are always appreciated. It helps me get through life in general. Everything's moved. There we go. I have been to Illinois, and that was pretty impressive being near that giant thing. Yeah. I mean, you'd have a great time in Vermont and New Hampshire, really. I mean, those those are other places I've been. But for me, those are travel destinations in the winter, funny enough. Like, I, would, I love going to Vermont to ski. I haven't skied in ages. I hope to do it soon, someday. I feel bad. That's one of those things I just haven't done because inability to do so because there are a hell of a lot of mountains around here, you know? We'll see. If anything, I'm trying to promote Rhode Island as a fun, interesting place to go, even though it's like freaking this big on the map. This big. But it's called the Ocean State for a reason. I think that's part of the problem with me. Ow. Oh, God, there's a phrase that was used, and I don't know what it is. Bug in a rug. I know what that meant. I don't know why bugs are in rugs, but, you know. In my mind, that's not a good thing. If you have bugs in your rugs, there's a problem. Right? Snug as a bug in a rug? Is that not what people know? Well, depending when you're from. But here's the thing. I can talk for a very long time about how uh, coffee milk is delicious. And a lot of people here would go, what the fuck is coffee milk? <laughs> so, there's that. I still have memories of going cross-country and ordering coffee milk as a child and them looking at me sideways going, what the hell is that? So if nothing else, come here for the coffee milk. Stay here for the ocean. And more importantly, come visit so I can drag your asses to Connecticut so we can have a lot of whiskey. And you can spend a lot of money, pretty much. But the end of the stream is coming henceforth and anon. I will be popping over to It's Bourbon Night next. And uh, there will be a couple other streams going on as well tonight. You pick your poison. I'm not going to tell you anything. Too many of them for me to keep track. Thank you all for coming. Remember to like and subscribe. I have a Patreon. Links below for PayPal and all that. Venmo, whatever, if you choose to donate, because clearly I need more whiskey. But until next time, 
Live long and prosper. Don't forget to be awesome. And I will see you, hopefully, out there.